Hi, I'm Meg Oliver. You and your family are in crisis. The dissolution of a relationship raises a whole host of issues. There are many paths which you may choose from as you face the crisis ahead. Let's quickly look at your options. Some people are able to resolve their differences by working together directly. We call this a kitchen table model. The parties sit down together and discuss the issues and reach a resolution. We recommend that you take any agreement that you have reached and have it drafted by an attorney who will then make sure that your agreement does what you have actually agreed to do. Other parties may choose to work with a neutral person, a mediator, who assists them in facilitating an agreement. In the background, each party will be working with an attorney, and that attorney will provide them with legal advice outside the mediation process. The mediator, who may be an attorney, does not give legal advice and is not aligned with either party. They are simply there to try to facilitate an agreement. In collaborative law, the parties work together and everyone talks together. The parties work with the team. They each hire an attorney and they all have divorce coaches who are mental health professionals who work with the parties to assist them in the process. The parties will also hire a financial neutral who will help them with the valuation of their assets, looking at support issues, and an ultimate division of the property. If there are children involved, a child specialist who is also a mental health professional will work with the parties together to help them reach a resolution that is best for their children. Everyone talks together and everyone agrees not to go to court. If an agreement is not reached and the parties seek the traditional litigation process, none of the team, including the attorneys, will work with the parties any further. In advocacy settlement, the parties each have their own attorney. This is the traditional War of the Roses model. Talk to my attorney. That's what we often say. Neither of the parties are talking to each other. They are communicating through their attorneys and their attorneys are advocating for them. In the litigation court-based model, the parties each have their own attorney. Once again, they are not talking to each other and they are presenting their evidence to the judge who is a neutral party. The judge doesn't know either of these parties or their children or any of their life history. The judge only hears the evidence that was presented or not presented and makes a decision based upon the evidence presented in court. Oftentimes parties are not really happy with the resolution that a judge may give, but this is the model many people choose. As you can see from this diagram, these options that you have available to you begin with the most control that the clients have and move to the least control that the clients have regarding any resolution they reach. If you start over here with the direct and the mediation, this is generally less expensive, moving on towards the most expensive method. To find out which path is right for you, please contact me at oliverfamilylaw.com. I'm looking forward to speaking with you.